in this beginner tutorial, I'm going to focus on these edit tools down here. Okay, so we've got the connect, insert, and append edits here. And we've also got some options for those edits for editing down the video only or the audio only for a, a section of clips. So when we're thinking about editing clips down to the timeline, the first place we'll go to is our original clips up here in the library. So I'm going to open this out a little bit so we can see a few extra clips. So once we get up here, there's a few different ways of setting in and out points um, or grabbing a whole clip. And the way that you may have been doing it up to now is that you would grab a clip and drag it straight down to the timeline, which is perfectly useful. And it's uh, actually a great way of editing. And um, the advantage of using these edit tools is that you can be precise in your editing by placing the playhead in a certain position. So for instance, if I click my playhead here, and I'm just going to grab a section of this clip. So I'm going to come partway through this clip and mark an in point by pressing I, come a little bit further through and press O to mark an out point. Once I've done that, if I tap the connect button down here, it will connect a clip and it will connect it exactly at that point where I had my playhead positioned. That's a really useful way of being precise with your edits. And the same goes for the insert edit. The append edit works slightly differently. So if I grab a clip here, mark an in point and an out point, if I append an edit here, it's going to essentially add any clip that I have selected. We'll just select a little bit of a longer one there. We'll just scroll down and grab this clip. So if I highlight this clip and then press the append edit, it's going to place it at the end of that clip's timeline. Okay. Now if I come partway through this clip, I grab this clip here and use the insert edit, it's going to insert that selected clip right in between those two clips. So even though I'm not at an edit point, it's going to split the clip at this point in the playhead on the timeline. So I'll click there and you can see it's broken that previous clip in two. So these tools are really useful for getting video and audio down to the timeline. Now the options that we have in this menu here are for video only or audio only. Okay, so you can see there's a shift one, shift two and shift three shortcut there. So if I'm wanting to bring down only my video to the timeline, then I can highlight that and you can see these icons change. So now when I scroll down and grab a clip, attach it to the timeline. If I zoom in here, I'll just use shift and Z to zoom to the timeline. You can see this clip has brought down the original footage, but none of that audio that we can see here in these other clips. So depending upon whether you, you know the intention of the audio in your clips, you may want no audio. Um, so this saves us having to do that audio adjustment when we brought the clip down, um, or we may want only the audio. But if we have the audio, we can always drop down the levels at a later stage to adjust that audio level. So it really depends on your editing preference as to whether you need to use these options down here. I'm going to switch this back to all. So I just highlight these, but you can see shift one, two, and three will flip those buttons quite quickly. Okay. So I'm going to jump back to the default. So shift and one. Now there are a couple of edits that you can't do with these shortcuts. And those are mostly to do with replacing clips where drag and drop editing comes back in. So if I grab a clip here and I drag a clip down to the timeline, you can see as I hover over it and let go, I get this option to replace the clip from the start, from the end, or to replace with a retime to fit. So we have some other editing options when we bring things down. Okay. But these buttons here are really useful when we're creating a rough cut. So I'm just going to blast all this stuff from the timeline just by grabbing it all and deleting it. So if I'm going through my um, edits here and I just want to quickly throw some stuff down to the timeline, I might grab the range selection tool, which allows me to grab a range of clips in here. And then as I move between those clips and I can just tap the E on each of those clips and it's very quickly going to set up my sequence. So you can see I'm getting a nice preview up here in the viewer. And just by tapping through each of these sections, I get a very quick edit. Okay, so the shortcuts for these are Q for the attach edit. So if I grab this here and tap Q, it's going to attach that clip to the timeline. And then W here, and that will split the clip. And then E, wherever I am on my timeline, will always append the edit to the end of my, my sequence. Okay, so getting to grips with how we use these different tools available to us can help gradually to kind of speed up our editing workflow, especially if you've been organized in your shooting and you have stuff organized in your library, then you may be able to quickly go through and lay down a rough cut using those shortcuts as you move through. We can also, as we're moving through here, use the up and down arrow keys to move through our clips. So if we know that we have what we want selected, 
or we're using the J, K and L keys to kind of move forwards and backwards quickly through our clips, then we can use E to quickly select clips that we want to drop down to the timeline. So a few tips there for working with these editing tools and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.